so I want to say really quickly before we get into this video, I was vlogging my LiPo 360 experience. Holy shit my lipo 360 experience i recorded some of it on my vlogging camera and then i recorded some of it on my phone um the clips from my camera they did not export right and it is giving me the hardest time so for the most part all of the clips on my phone were the bulk of the video with that being said i just want to go ahead and say this video is about my 360 lipo experience um the clips that weren't included or the clips that got deleted i guess uh they pretty much were just going over like you know my body before and after um why i'm getting the surgery and i want to say that was it and i also had showed you guys or i tried to show you guys some of the stuff that i had purchased for the lipo itself now i'll make a different video going over all of that again in detail if you guys want to know um but I will insert clips of my before pictures um, and what I'm currently looking like now. Hopefully it's not going to be like something that gets taken down. But yes, that is my experience. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy and I will see you guys later. Good morning. It is March 9th, 8th. It's the 8th. Um, I have my surgery tomorrow. Um, today I do have pre-op. So I have an appointment at 10 o'clock um, for pre-op. Um, before that, I'm going to go ahead and go to like Walmart or HEB to pick up a last couple, like some few, a few things like um, that I might need afterwards. Because no, they didn't send me, they didn't give me an aftercare list. They might give it to me today, but... Uh, so maybe I'll wait to get it, but I just want to make sure I have enough time to get everything. So I was watching a couple of like post-op um, or pre-post-op BBL videos. Um, even though I'm not getting the BBL, um, it seems like that's all I could find was like post-op BBL videos. Just because I'm looking for stuff that I'm going to need as far as like, you know, I have uh foam boards and a faha already that they're gonna give me but i'm talking about like i need to know if i'm gonna need like some surgical uh dressings like some type of antibacterial whatever so i am going to hopefully they give me a list of stuff that i need to pick up from the store uh, but i'll probably just go ahead and start getting stuff now um i've been trying to make sure that i am drinking enough water and i have like you know I've been getting my gut together as far as gut health. So I know today I'm probably going to go through the fridge and my cabinets and throw away a bunch of shit that I should not be eating anyway. Because let's be real, baby, this is an investment. Ugh. This is an investment. Ugh, make sure my titty wasn't out. I also need to go and get like some sweats because, oh shit, it's raining outside. I have a pile of clothes next to me. I did not feel like doing laundry last night. Um, but yeah, this is an investment and... I'm definitely taking this seriously. So definitely taking this seriously. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of that. I need to start getting ready. Um, I need to make a list because otherwise I will go to the store with everything on my mind. And as soon as I start shopping and I get to thinking about everything, I completely forget what I came into the store for. So with that being said, I need to go to like Walmart, get some sweats, get some last minute things. Y'all, I also got my nose pierced. I'm um, not sure if I was supposed to get my nose pierced before a surgery, but we went ahead and did, did that. My best friend came into town, so she wanted to get her nose pierced and her belly button pierced. And so I was like, girl, I know a place, $5 piercings. If you're in Houston, check out Doggos. Uh, ghetto as fuck. They're a little rude, but they're nice towards the end. Um, but yeah, anywho. I also need to get a belly button. Uh, I have my belly button pierced. I need to get a like a a belly button ring type thing, like a placeholder, so I can go ahead and take that out. But I'm excited. Oh my goodness! And y'all, not to like, I really don't like saying things too soon because you just never know. You know what? But I one thing I did learn is honestly like just fuck it like fuck it so i've been talking to this one guy um 
obviously y'all don't know because I haven't said anything I don't think but um me and my boyfriend that I did mention in a few previous videos um we are not together anymore and with that being said I am actually uh with a new guy uh, my turnaround time is not fast okay my turnaround time is not that fast um but yeah I just happened to be with a new guy and he's supposed to be like coming over to like take care of me and whatnot on the day of my surgery and I'm like oh shit like this is you're gonna take care of me like I didn't need nobody to take care of me because I'm like it's just a little lipo but he gonna come over and take care of me and I just think that is so cute because when I was when I had COVID my previous boyfriend was not trying to take care of me like he did not want to go to Walmart to get me like some cough drops or nothing like so this is nice I'm like okay being treated like an actual fucking person first and foremost but yeah but yeah let's go ahead and get up I should I drink coffee am I allowed to drink coffee that's my thing I can drink tea I have no problem drinking tea uh, but I just want to know can I drink coffee or not I'm probably not gonna drink coffee after the surgery, maybe for like a month or two, just until I can like, you know, but I'm so freaking excited, you guys, because I'm so freaking excited. I'm so freaking excited. I, no one understands like, maybe some people do. I work out every day. Like for the last few years, I have been going to the gym on and off. Uh, but I think these last, this last year and a half, maybe two years, I actually know how to work out, if that makes sense. I know that I have to lift heavy to build muscle and burn fat. I know cardio is also really beneficial for burning visceral fat. So I just, this is my push start, basically. Like, this is like a little, a little head start that I'm giving myself after a couple of years, because I'm like, girl she gets to go and y'all are probably looking like oh you're not even that big bitch listen it's not about what you think it's about what i think and i think it's time for this shit to go because yeah it's time for this shit to go i'm probably gonna look back at this video and be like well, now why the fuck would i do that but honestly you know yeah i'm just like i'm ready to be snatched man like summer is coming up too baby baby i need to pick out some swimsuits there's so much it's gonna it's fun it's like there's a lot i have to do but it's gonna be so much fun so i really just pray to god everything goes well and goes as planned i would be lying if i said this was not my first lipo um we'll get into that later but with this being my second time getting lipo i definitely know what to do now and i know i need to be taking this shit seriously you know what i mean um so yeah i need to go get like some sweats and some pajamas that i can wear while um i'm like in the recovering process because i don't want to mess up my pajamas they're cute you know and then also i need to get like a thing for my bed like a like a sheet cover protector um just in case i do bleed or have wounds and whatnot. I also need to get one of those like little massage really things. There's so much shit. And I'm gonna, excuse me, I'm gonna, you know, go to the store, get all the stuff, and then I'm gonna pack it up tonight because my surgery is, excuse me, my surgery is early tomorrow morning, like 7 a.m. So I'm gonna pack everything up and I'm gonna show you guys. And yes, oh my goodness, a bitch. 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 I'm so Okay. I'm here. About to go into surgery. What time is it? 6.07, right? Mm -hmm. So I've been out of surgery for like almost 10 hours now. And I'm lightheaded. I fell over twice. I cut my chin. So that's hot. Um, yeah, I just took my pain meds though. And then Eric here got me some food. My eyelashes are fucked. My nails are fucked, but it's okay. Because I'm gonna get it all together once I'm able to walk and I'm a little bit more mobile. I'm gonna be cute again, you know? But that is my post-op update. Hopefully the next time you guys see me, 
I can show you guys what the body's looking like a little bit. Um, Cause it's honestly a little gross right now. I'm oozing out of a bunch of different places. So yeah. <clears throat> oh my God, that's another thing. So as you guys know, I went to Mia Aesthetics and they gave me, I had to go into general anesthesia. Um, they put me out and then they put this tube in my mouth since they did the front and back of me. Again, no BBL. We didn't do that, but so they had to take the tube out of my throat. So now my throat's just a little, a little dry, a little hoarse, but it's all good. But yeah, hopefully tomorrow you guys will be able to see my, my post-op update because I have to go in tomorrow morning. So yeah, I'm just feeling very crusty at the moment. Very crusty, very musty. And yes but also i feel good because eric's here yes bye bye good morning today is post-op day let's see five post-op day five um i'm here for my last post-op appointment for a next few for the next ugh, for the next few months um, sorry I haven't been able to really do or film much, you guys. Like, there's not really much to film. I've really just been, like, resting and trying to get things together. Um, ew, my nails. Uh, just resting and everything. I go to work today, so that should be interesting. But, for the most part, I'm gonna do this post-op appointment, see what they're saying. My results are looking really good so far. And, excuse me. I need to ask him about this headache that I've been experiencing because this shit is unreal. I looked it up and it said that like, you know, it's it's common after general anesthesia to have a headache um, or some type of like neck pain. Um, but then I also read that it could be because of like, you know, lack of caffeine if you're a caffeine um, drinker. So, and I know I was hitting it hard with the caffeine before I went into surgery. So that shit probably was not was not something I should have done any advice I give like if I'm giving advice to anyone who's about to do any type of surgery clean diet stop drinking caffeine you know just nothing but water just shoot just drink water just drink water before your procedure at least two weeks before just nothing but water make sure you're hydrated make sure you're having a clean diet because that shit really will affect you um, I don't know why I thought it would not affect me, weirdly enough. So, uh, there is that. Um, but yeah, so, as far as yesterday, all I did, I tried to go to a couple stores to look at some Fajas, um, didn't have much luck, and then I ended up going out to eat with a friend. Um, we were gonna go get Mediterranean food, which is, like, the perfect type of diet, because they focus on, like, you know, good quality meats, vegetables, you know, not too much starch. But we ended up having a seafood boil, so got a lot of protein, but also a lot of fucking sodium. So I didn't eat anything for the rest of the night, and I just drank water, like, to push all that extra sodium out. But yeah, I'm here today at Media Aesthetics. I'm about to walk in, actually. Um, I look... Ugh, fuck. There's no other way to describe how you're gonna look after you have a surgery, uh, besides the word crusty. So there's that. How are my teeth looking? I had Invisalign. I'm on my last tray. Nice, nice. Okay. Lashes are looking absolutely horrific. I've been trying to pick them off. Um, but yeah, so let's go inside. Oh shit, some glitter in my eye. Okay. Oh, Jesus. I wonder if I'm gonna look bring my drink i made myself a little lemon ginger tea with green tea in it with, so i can get a little bit of caffeine don't tell i'm probably not supposed to do that but this headache y'all if it is caffeine related like i know it's not like coffee but like i, I went from like being a consistent caffeine consumer whether it be coffee or pre-workout to completely nothing nothing even some of my teas have caffeine in them so 
I'm going through it as far as this headache is concerned. But you know what? We're gonna get it together. And I'm gonna clean myself up later on before work. Um these edges, oh Jesus. Um, and whatnot. So let's go. Ugh. I never hold on to this thing right here. And now look at me. Oh fuck. I think my appointment is at 8 30. That's what they told me. Can't really remember though. Oh Jesus. It's so crazy because I'm like really slim now in the waist. Excuse me, but these boards and these phones make me feel like I'm pregnant. Like I have a whole fucking, what's it called? Child in there. Hello. Garrett? Yes. My appointment's at 8.30, right? Oh, am I still able to like do it today? Okay. And this is my final visit, right? Okay. Uh, eight fifteen. Is it eight fifteen? Okay. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Good morning, you guys. I am officially one week post op. Um, I'm actually going to the gym in my apartment to just walk on the treadmill, but I don't have my faha and boards on right now. Um, I didn't want to get them all sweaty but basically here is how my shape is looking I decided to wear these uh workout pants because they don't have a lot of um they don't really compress too much around the waist I don't want to like you know cause an indent um and then I have the sports bra on but before when I would wear this outfit like rolls nothing but rolls and so now I'm still swollen obviously but stomach is a lot flatter I got that curve, that curvature in my butt is going in nicely. And then of course I have my side shape, which is completely smooth. So you can kind of see it right there. Oh, I don't wanna do too much, but yes. So the curves, and then you can also see like, basically like that, but so far so good, I'm happy. So I'm just gonna do some cardio. Um, you guys know I am a weight lifter, okay? So not being able to do any type of real weight lifting for probably the next six months is gonna be a little sad for me, but it's good. I can focus on my cardio um, and really just like slim down a lot more. But again, like I didn't have anything done to my hips. I just had them do my midsection and back. So that nice curve is gonna be there. Um, gonna have a flat stomach. I'm still like swollen in this area, but for the most part, I like what I'm seeing, especially being one week post-op. So I just wanna make sure I don't do too much. And then you can also see the back. So yeah. But yeah let's go work out so i'm closing out this video um i'm actually editing the video and i realized i didn't have a closing so as i'm editing though i realized there was a lot of stuff that i was completely wrong about um as far as like 
my nose piercing was not supposed to get that done my belly button piercing did close uh so both piercings closed like i don't even have the nose anymore um as far as what i actually needed and what i got and everything i'll do another video that's very detailed in you know who my doctors were what products i purchased um maybe i'll even go over pricing and everything like that um how much i did bleed and how like out of my mind i was after the surgery um i thought i could go to work that same day because they downplayed general anesthesia not at all like i passed out but yeah i will see you guys in the next video bye